reporter, Christine Matthews. <laughs> nice to see you, Christine. Thank you, Curtin Jen. So, Christine, how are things going in Iraq? More bad news, I'm afraid. Almost every day we receive reports that American Marines are having violent clashes with insurgents on the roads leading into Baghdad. Oh my gosh, that sounds terrible. It is. With the recent reinforcements in place, the Marines are overwhelming the enemy, sustaining only minor setbacks as U.S. troops capture more and more terrorists. I'm sorry, I thought you said more bad news. Yes, yes, I'm sorry to report that Iraqi civilian casualties are down. And sadly, <laughs> tribal leaders are cooperating with U.S. forces against Al-Qaeda. It's very discouraging. Christine, I, th I think what we mean is that actually sounds like positive news. Yeah, that would depend on your perspective. <laughs> How can American gains in Iraq be seen as anything other than good? Well, this is an election season. <laughs> Democratic Congressman James Clyburn of South Carolina said it best. If the surge ends up working, that would be a big problem for us. Us? Wait, you're speaking for the Democrats now? Well, not officially, but come on. You're in the media, you know what I'm talking about. Actually, we just report the news. We don't take a side. W who said anything about taking a side? I'm totally neutral. Hillary, Obama, Edwards, whatever. Let me get this straight. Are you saying that you and the Democrats are basically afraid that the U.S. could win the war? Well, it's premature to talk about the doomsday scenario, Kurt. <laughs> There's still hope that things could turn around and Iraq could dissolve into the chaotic mess that it once was. Oh, but we support the troops. Right. Christine Matthews, thanks for that new information. Coming up later on the half-hour news hour, Dennis Miller on what President Bush and Mozart have in common. We'll be right.